Good morning. Hello and welcome to today's vlog. Just kidding. Um, so I thought I would start off today's vlog a little bit different. Um, I have my fancy light right there. I have been getting, oh, this is like not a good angle no. Sorry about my stomach fat. I have been getting a lot of requests, basically requests about um, like what I eat and my workout routine and things like that. They just wanna know what it is that I do. And I think um, I have not done a video like this only because I don't know. I don't, I'm still working out my routine and what's best for me and what's easiest, not only for like my body, but like my schedule. My schedule is so crazy and all over the place all the time. It's hard to like stay in a routine. So I just do my best with what I'm given and what I can and can't do, basically. That's, that's what I do. But on a normal day like today, when I don't have much to do or much going on, I will wake up, um, check on the kids, make sure they're usually up before me. Then after they're all taken care of and everything, I'll come back up here. So I just wanted to start today's vlog off by letting you know I am going to do my best walking you through what I do during a workout. Now I can't show you all of my workouts um, during the week only because obviously I don't have, I don't do the same thing every single day. It's like, I'll do legs this day, I'll do arms this day, I'll do my abs this day. You know, it's just different every other day or whatever I can fit in. So um, today I did plan on doing a lot of arms and a lot of squats. I do try to fit in squats most days because I'm all about the booty gains. So that is the plan for today. I'm going to walk you through as much as I possibly can without getting distracted because I am a mother of four and they're downstairs right now almost killing each other. So I will do my very best. So come along with me. A few moments later. Okay, so I made it downstairs after getting on to the kids for all of the messes that they have made. So now they are cleaning it all up. I am making my um, pre-workout drink to drink before I go do workout. This is what I use for my pre-workout. I'll let you take a look at it. The flavor is Berry Splash and it works really good for me because I used two scoops at one time and I like had the jitters. I like could not calm down at all. So I definitely only use one scoop. And then I also use my alpha amino. This is the lemon lime, because I don't know, I just like add a little lemon in there, I don't know. It doesn't really have much of a taste, but you can taste a little bit of lime, so I don't mind that. I'll put one scoop of that in my cup, my shaker cup. Right now I have or some orange Gatorade in there because I ran out of my pure water. So, for today, we're using orange Gatorade, but obviously these flavors are probably not gonna be like the best or easy to drink as if it was water mixed with them. I like to try to at least drink half of it while I'm heading out to my workout, obviously, because you wanna already have it in your system and ready to go. So not the healthiest of breakfasts, but I'm going to eat this protein bar it's got 12 grams of it, 
five grams of fiber, uh, vitamins and minerals. It's just a really good like bar to fill your tummy up before you go and work out really quick. Also, I have, if you don't like the one that I just showed you, I also have Ghost, uh, which I like to use. These work really good as well, especially with flavors. They are very yummy and delicious. So, if you are all about the flavor, I definitely recommend these, because they're very yummy. Okay, welcome to my gym. It's a little bit squishy. But, this is basically where I do my workouts, most of my workouts. I do a lot of my workouts um, outside as well. I'll do like my squats and stretches and all that kind of stuff out there. But I have everything I need in here, really. All right, so first and foremost, I warm up by stretching. So let's get to it. Now that I am done with all of that stuff outside, I like to come inside, make my protein shake, and then do a couple um, ab workouts inside where it's nice and cool. Okay, for my uh, protein shake, I like to use Synthesix. This is what I use. It's This is the strawberry milkshake flavor and I use one scoop. I'll fill this up to about right here. And one scoop is enough for me. But um, a lot of people like to use water. Um, I find it easier for me to drink if I use milk though. So you can use either or. Definitely wanna make sure that you shake it up really good because you don't want like that clunk of powder in your drink because that is grossy. Yes, I just said grossy. It's not a word. Hello, naked. Goodbye, naked. Okay, so this is pretty much my best area I have to do my stretches and workouts and things like that inside. What? So this is kind of like a stretch, kind of, just stretching all of your... Yeah, I'm not right. Eh. I'm gonna do it. 
feel all of this stuff in my legs stretching. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm doing yoga. <laughs> I think we need to clean this rug. Smell bad? It doesn't smell pleasant. All right, one of my first and favorite workouts I like to do. I don't know what it's called. Probably has a name. Oh, you get on your arms like this. Don't let your knees touch the ground. You're gonna twist your body like this. Twist your hips from one side to the other. Five, two. Okay, that's my first workout. Second is, you're gonna get up on your hands, bring your legs up, and then bring your right knee up to your right elbow, back down, left knee up to your left elbow. Back down, just like that. Next is kind of like a leg workout I like to do. We're gonna do 30 on each leg. We're just gonna lift this leg up 30 times. One, two, three, nine, 30. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 9, 30. Both my legs hurt now. I like to do this every day after my workouts. I'll add in maybe some sit-ups or push-ups. Come on, camera. And then I'll drink my protein shake. And that is it for my everyday workout routine. But then, that's not it for my days though. You know me, I still have the day with my kids. And that is basically on your feet all day long. But thanks for joining us. Now back to today's vlog. So I'm in my room changing out of my workout clothes and stuff and you can hear them. That's how crazy they are. Let's listen to them. Okay, so when I say that they're, they're crazy, I mostly mean Kesley. <laughs> she is on another level today. So I'm gonna change out of my workout outfit and then possibly get lunch started for them. And I was thinking about maybe playing some games or whatever since we have some extra time and it's a pretty gloomy day outside. So we're gonna be inside most of the day. So might as well make the most out of it. Is that your hiding spot? Yeah. You guys wanna play hide and go seek? Yeah! Oh my. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Roman, do you wanna play hide and go seek? With, with mommy, mommy's gonna play. Just for a little while? With the guys. You'd rather watch this than play hide and go seek with mommy? Mommy's gonna play. That's rude. Whatever. Pumpkin. He'll see us playing and then he'll wanna he'll wanna I join do. Oh Yay. you do wanna play. Alright, so here are the rules, everybody. You have to we're gonna have a base. Or we have to decide where the base is. You have to stay on the base and you cannot look around. That's cheating. And you have to count all the way to twenty before you say, ready or not, here I come. And you have to count normally. You can't One, count fast. Two. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five. All the way to 20. And once you find, and you can't be like, <laughs> while you're hiding, you have to be quiet. Then the person will know and they will tag you. Mm -hmm. 
So once you are found, go to the base so we know that you're out. I think the base should be this bench right here. Mm -hmm. Can I have my phone so I won't get bored? Are you for real? Is this the days that we live in? You no, have to I'm have kidding. your phone while you're I'm playing kidding. hide and go seek? No, I'm I kidding. don't think you are kidding. I think you are serious. All right, who wants to be it first? Oh, does Brayden want to play? Maybe we should involve Brayden. Brayden! Do you want to play hide and seek with mommy? Mommy's actually going to play. So I'll be it first. <laughs> now. <laughs> Another rule is you cannot go outside. You have to stay in the house. Okay? okay? All right. Are okay. you guys thinking of places to hide? Yes. No. Better make it good. Yes. Cause I'm really good at this game. All right. So you have to sit with your face looking this way and you have to count to 20. All right? All right. Ready? Mom, put the camera down. All right, ready, yeah. set. Go. Go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, 20 Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. Oh man, I wonder where everyone could be. Nobody's in the laundry room. Find them. I don't know. I hear that noise. You hear the noise? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Are you sniffing for them? Yeah. Okay. If that works for you. Kesley, go down to the base. Not in there. Darn it. Brayden, you win again. No! Brayden keeps winning. <laughs> <laughs> So Haley and I kind of did a thing, um, yeah. I think it saves a lot of room, but 
this does look semi-cluttered probably because of the lego table and um the pile of clothes right there but it does save a lot of room over here which is what i was looking for because we always felt so cluttered eating dinner and stuff i needed to clear out that entire craziness going on back there which we will be getting rid of this and this table actually and upgrading something better and something that fits everybody because obviously there's only four chairs there it's not going to fit everybody but um decided to make this this is definitely the kids living room area slash laundry area <laughs> 